back to my youtube channel so in today's video i do this eye look that i'm pretty much in love with if you guys are interested in how i achieve this look continue watching so i already went ahead and did this eye off camera because to be honest i did not know what look i was going to do so i did this off camera i figured it out off camera and i love it so i'm just going to prime this eye this eye lid with the p louise base this is in the shade rumor 2 I'm just going to take a flat brush and just press the product on top of my eyelids. So I'm apologize for the noise in the background. I really didn't want to do an next voice over. So, yeah. I really wanted to do um, a talk show video. So you guys just have to bear with me and the noise. Um, I'm just going to take a flat top eyeshadow brush and just buff all the harsh edges so I'm now going in with the um the Zulu palette from Juvia Space and I'm going to take this orange shade and I'm going to put it in my crease this is going to be my transition shade as you can see I'm just buffing it and swiping it at the same time The reason why I swipe it is because I want to position it. I don't just want to buff it in one position. So I'm just going to swipe and buff at the same time. If that makes sense. I'm going in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to swipe it on now. Swipe on everything. Also, I promised you guys, blue isn't my favorite color. I don't know why. All of a sudden, I'm just in the mood for blue, like blue everything. Blue backdrop, backdrop, blue nails, blue eyeliner. I don't know. Blue isn't my favorite color, though. I'm just having a blue season. Later in my eyelash. Now, I'm just going to go in with the same palette, which, no, I didn't went in with the same palette. I went in with the Saharian 2. And I use this dark brown shade. Just to make sure everything is in frame. I use this dark brown shade on my crease. Well, in my crease. I'm now going in with this, this the same palette and I'm using this burgundy shade, this burgundy. I'm not using a lot, just a little bit. I'm just put it right here on the outer layer of my crease. Not really a lot, but just a little bit. A little bit. I'm not putting it all over my outer crease, just not the outer view, just right there. I'm just going to blend that out to the same brush because I want it to have like a reddish, um, burgundish tone to it. So after I'm done with that now, I'm going in to my Morphe 30, what is it, 35O? I don't remember, but this brick, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm going in with, I'm going to use this dark brown shade. And just darken to just darken the edges. Well, not the edges, the outer crease. Just gonna apply to the outer V of my not really a lot either. I don't really want a smoky dark look. So I'm just going back with the same transition brush and just bring it. Soften it up. 
So now I'm just going to cut my crease and I'm using the same P. Louise base and I'm just going to do a half um, cut crease. So now I'm just going to go back with the orange shade. I'm just going to, this orange shade, I'm just going to add a little bit right beside that and blend it out. I'm going back and forth with the same crease brush because I want everything to look, just look seamless. Everything well blended and seamless. So I'm going back and forth with the same brush. So now I'm going in, I'm going to use this yellow and apply it right beside the orange. Not too much, but just, just to blend the edges of the orange. And that's it for that. So now I'm going into my Morphe 35 O palette and I'm going to use this cream shade and just apply it to the rest of my, my lids. So now time for the liner. I used um, the Masquerade palette. I used this blue shade. This, my palette is very dirty. <laughs> Sorry for that. So now I'm just gonna dry the eyeliner because uh, yeah. Now I'll be using the Dior Lash Glue as my glitter adhesive. So now I'm going to take um, this glitter. This is a mixed glitter from the Face Lab. I'm just going to apply it right on the liner. So now it's time for lashes. I'm going to apply these lashes. I got them from Amazon. I'll leave the link um, down in the description so if you guys are interested in purchasing them. So I went ahead and did my face off camera because literally nothing has changed since my last makeup. Because if you guys want to know to do your face makeup, you could watch that video. So now for under my eyes.
Now looking at it, I think I should add a darker blue. And I'm going into the um, the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm going to take, um, I'm going to mix these two blue together. The dark blue and the, um, the light shimmer blue. I'm going to mix them together. And I'm going to apply. I don't think I need to add any shimmer to the inner corner of my eyes because this is already, you know, popping, so I don't need that. So I'm now going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome to highlight my brow bones. Okay, so now it's time for lips. I really want to do something different from my natural lip because every time when I wear makeup, I always do a natural lip. So I'm thinking, I'm not sure. Let me see, let me weigh my options. Purple? Purple and blue. I seriously want to do a colored lip, but every time when I do my makeup, I always, 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 always do something natural. I don't know. Red, 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 This is a little bad, but <laughs> I'm gonna put a little, a little thing on it. I think I should learn my lips with a dark brown pencil. The lipstick that I used was the clean, clean color, clean color um, matte lipstick, and I used this on top. I used the Ashley Ashley Lee color matte matte finish lip cover. So that's basically it for this look. Please let me know what you guys think. If you guys like I'm my eyes alone, or if you want me to do the whole of my face, and just comment and let me know what you guys like because I'm here to please you guys. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next upload.